So what we uh, found, a major finding, is that if you combine CBD with THC, you actually enhance the anti-cancer effects of THC. It's been previously reported that THC was effective at inhibiting aggressive brain cancers in vivo, and this, um, what they call preclinical data, led to a small clinical trial in Spain. So there's been quite a bit of literature suggesting that if you combine cannabinoids, actually different components of cannabinoids, THC and other similar um, compounds and similar in structure, that you might be able to enhance the activity of that individual compound. So this is the hypothesis that we worked with. Um, we screened a variety of cannabinoids and um, against many different types of cancers. And from that screen, we found that this compound called cannabidiol, which happens to be the second most abundant cannabinoid in the plant cannabis, was actually the most active compound in when we were testing its ability to inhibit many different types of aggressive cancers. So we combined this compound uh, along with THC in uh, culture dishes of uh, aggressive brain cancer um, <clears throat> cells. And what we found is we got a synergistic improvement in the ability of um, THC to not only inhibit the growth of these aggressive um, brain cancer cells, but also to um, cause uh, programmed cell death, which is very important because you actually want to kill these tumor cells if they don't have the ability to grow back. And so that's really the um, major finding. And also within that, we were able to find specific molecular mechanisms that might explain why combining the two compounds makes for a more efficient treatment. And so we're hoping maybe to use that finding to potentially um, improve treatments, not only in um, aggressive brain cancers, perhaps in other aggressive cancers. So everyone's going to say, great, that means if I have brain cancer or some other cancer, I can just smoke a joint and I'm, I'm right. good, right? Well, based on the um, studies in culture and also in vivo, um, the data suggests that really in order to, for the compounds to be active, you have to use a, quite a high concentration and you wouldn't be able to reach that concentration by smoking the compound. It really needs to be a direct administration. In fact, in the small clinical trial, they used um, infusion pumps that were put directly into the brain so they can infuse the compound right directly to the um, tumor. And that way they were able to get this high concentration uh, to the tumor. So.